all the questions that I received publicly, I did receive uh, a number of messages um, privately uh, on LinkedIn uh, from people who um, felt that um, because they're, they're in employment at the moment, they, they didn't want to uh, advertise to their current employers, um, who are obviously their connections, that uh, they're at the moment applying for, for another job or another role, which I completely understand. So some of those um, issues that were raised, I posted those as well, so that you can all see that. And I'll just quickly um, touch on those as well. How many years applying without any interviews before I stop? What do you reckon? Oh, we've flipped <laughs> it around now. I'm interviewing you. <laughs> it's, it's going to take a few rounds of gateway or applications generally. How, how, how long did you apply for? I think I had a good, good at least three years or something. Three years? Yeah. Um, but that said, I, I had interviews throughout the whole process. So I think the more pertinent issue is why am I not getting interviews and address that rather than how many times should I keep not getting interviews and then give up? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I think the starting point is on average, it's, it's about three to four years for people that get pupillage. That's how long it takes them. Um, my advice sort of echoes what you said. If you're three years into applying and you've never had a single invite for interview, I think at that stage you probably want to really question whether, number one, there's something fundamentally wrong with how you're approaching your applications, uh, and number two, possibly consider whether you're lacking um, some sort of experience or uh, exposure uh, that's um, you know really going to help you. And finally, sadly, number three, uh, and I don't like saying this, but it's true, there needs to be a degree of introspection at that sort of stage to consider whether or not this is the right uh, way to go into the profession for you. And that's a separate thing that um, you know I could, I could do a whole, uh, a whole post on. Uh, but I think, yeah, the, the, there's no specific answer to that. Some people will tell you that what I've just said is nonsense and they didn't get an interview for five years and on the fifth year they got their first ever interview and that was the pupilage that they got. That is true. I know people that that's happened to, but by and large, it's rare. I think the scenario you want to be in is your first year of applying, you get a couple of interviews, um, they don't really turn into second rounds. Your second year, you get more first round interviews. Those turn into several second round interviews, possibly a reserve. Uh, and then the third year, obviously, that final escalation to um, a... Uh, a offer or, or multiple offers. Uh, so will people see beyond my university ranking grades? Um, yes, I yeah. think, yeah. It's your experience, it's your whole application. It's an integral part of your application, but it doesn't necessarily have to be everything. So they will see beyond it, but you've got to make them see beyond it. And if you want them to see beyond it, you've got to put the effort in um, to your general sort of career development, to your experience, to be pushing the spotlight, guiding them to what you want them to see and what you want them to focus on. Yeah. How can I show my experience trumps my grades? I think we've, we've talked about that mm -hmm. quite a bit. Uh, will having a dispensation for a reduced pupillage increase my chances? Again, that will that will vary depending on the institution, depending on the chambers. Um, some people take the view that um, they don't really care whether you've got um, three months off, or four months off, or six months off, because the pupillage that they're offering is twelve months, and a lot of websites will say pupillage is with a view to tenancy they cannot and will not make their decision after six months just because that's something that um, you're eligible for. The process takes 12 months. The members of chambers, the members of the business need to see you for 12 months before they make that decision. So the answer is, I think, in a lot of cases, no. It may be particularly attractive to certain sets, particularly those um, that want to see you on your
your feet um, as quickly as they can so that they may have a specific need for it. But whether or not you can get a dispensation from the first six uh, element is, I think, more difficult, uh, if not impossible. So my overall instinctive answer to the question is I don't think it massively, massively helps. But of course, if you have one, you, you'll put it into your application. Yeah, I think um, certainly from, from what I've seen and some of my friends who have uh, reductions is that it's something that you would definitely put down in your application, but it depends on the set as to whether they, they seek to apply that or what relevance or weight they place on it. Yeah, um, the, the last one I've, I've put here is actually a question about interviews, uh, and that will obviously form part of another vlog that we will do uh, in the event that um, this one actually proves of any utility to anyone. If it's total garbage uh, and um, you don't want us to do it ever again, then we won't do that either. Um, but we'll look forward to hearing, uh, hearing from you uh, via the, the comments and, and likes below. Uh, and if there are questions you think um, that still exist, there will be questions that exist, of course, but if there's questions that you want to ask from the answers we've given or additional questions, then obviously feel free to, to put those. And if you want us to uh, do one of these in relation to interviews, yeah. then um, let us know as well. Uh, but thanks, thanks for taking the time to submit your questions. Um, I hope that um, we've been able to shed some light on it. And, and good luck, because the career that you're embarking on, the profession that you're trying to be a part of, is a difficult one. At entry level, it is one of the most difficult professions to get into. So um, you need tenacity, you need determination, uh, you need to understand how to take some knocks because some of you already have experience of that and some of you will be getting that now. Um, and you need just a little bit of luck. So good luck. Cheers guys, take care.